literary texts don't stand alone. They exist and should be viewed in a larger surrounding frames or contexts. Being a critical reader also involves understanding that texts are always developed with a certain context. Its meaning and interpretation are affected by a given set of circumstances that give an idea about an event, statement, or written material so that it can be fully understood. Such circumstances which can be cultural, historical, political, social, or economic events shape or influence a writer in writing his or her work. There are many different types of contexts. One is biographical context or writer's context. This involves knowing about the writer's life, values, assumptions, gender race, and the political and economic orientation related to the author. Cultural context, for instance, changing attitude towards gender roles, and literary historical context, such as the convention of a literary genre. These are some of the contexts that scholars often find useful. Depending on the type of text, the context can include the following components. Subject. This is the main topic of the author's work. It can be anything under the sun, culture, history, politics, society, economy, religion, current events, and others. Purpose This is the author's reason for writing. It can be one of the following. To narrate a story. To compare and contrast ideas. To review or evaluate a work. To explain an idea or concept. To explore and investigate an issue. To argue a point. Or to persuade the audience. Another component is your audience. The tone, style, diction, organization, and content of the author's work depend on his or her target audience or readers occasion or situation this may compel the writer to write especially if it is significant or relevant to him or her personally it can be his or her personal motivation to choose what to write about and how to write it from the given types and components of context the following are some questions that you can ask about the text that you are reading to examine or understand its context Number 1. When was the text written? What was the society like back then? Number 2. Where was the text written? How did the place influence the author's writing? Number 3. What were the political, social, and cultural, economic, or even religious influences in the author's life that are reflected in his or her writing? And number four, what were the influences of the genre and the author's contemporaries in his or her work? We can clearly sense that the way the writers shape their texts is dramatically influenced by their context. Writers decide how to shape their sentences by considering their context. in developing the context of a text, hypertext and intertext. Look at this. Which do you prefer to read? The first, which is printed reading, or the second, which is digital reading? Well, for most teenagers like you, you might love to read more on the digital side. 
With the advancement of technology, which most of you are being exposed, our conventional type of reading have changed over time. You might have tried reading e-novels such as your favorite Wattpad, e-books, e-magazines, or e-newsletters. These are all types of e-reading resources. In the conventional or traditional reading, we read linear texts. When we say linear, it is traditional reading of a text from beginning to the end. Here, the reader makes meaning to the text according to their grammatical or syntactic arrangement of the words. This means that it is the author of the text that decides the way his or her text is to be read by you as the readers. Generally, texts printed on paper are considered as linear texts. Poems, stories, articles, and other printed texts are read line by line in order for us to understand the text. But in a new trend, we have a new system, the non-linear way of reading, which is through the use of links, and it is called hypertext. Hypertext is a text displayed on a computer display or other electronic devices with references to other texts that the reader can immediately access. Hypertext documents are interconnected by hyperlinks which are typically activated by a mouse click, key press set, or by touching the screen. Rather than remaining static like traditional text, Hypertext makes a dynamic organization of information possible through links and connections called hyperlink. The World Wide Web or the WWW is a global hypertext system of information residing on servers linked across the internet. Hypertext is the foundation of World Wide Web enabling users to click on link to obtain more information on a subsequent page on the same site or from website anywhere in the world. The term hypertext was coined by Ted Nelson in 1963.